Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 7.4.4 Hazard Shift, Shatter and Bait and Switch Path. Now the nodes here are going to be first one is Hazard Shift with Incinerate and Poison. Every 12 seconds whenever you will attack the defender, there is a chance that you will be applied, 40% chance that they will be applied on you, Incinerate or Poison depending on which cycle is going on. Apart from that, there is going to be Eat Growth size attackers will gain immunity to nullify and whenever a nullifier or poison fails to apply you will gain a passive fury increasing your attack damage by 80 percent for six seconds and there is going to be shatter so every time the attacker has an effect nullified they will receive a burst of damage equal to 50 percent of the defender's modified rating so what that means easily put forget about all the nodes just bring in your size champion that are either poison immunity or they have incinerate immunity or in some cases they have both of them like red hulk and anti venom are the best options for this path so if you have them you can run the whole path with them if not poison immune champions incinerate immune champions will also works we'll see them more in the path and uh, the path is going to start with black widow clairvoyant and there is going to be an annoying war machine and a doom and we're going to end up with silver satorian and the boss is going to be a super scroll with bullet time and steady perseverance more on him later we will take him out with venom pool on the end of the video for your mastery setup it's up to you guys i i'm using my suicide setup so the top one my defense setup is also there one uh, one point in coagulate and then I'm running my full suicides now jumping on to the path Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications all of that really helps you out a lot Now as the fight starts you will see on the top right There is an incinerate grayed out icon now I will just have to stay back on this one because she hulk is only a poison immune champion as soon as I see that the poison phases up I will start attacking and because of the eat crow I am not worried about the nullification and the damage from shatter because I'm using science champion and look at those furies start piling up and all of that damage really will kill off the defender very quick the specials are easily evadable just bring in the science champion and start hitting only when you are in that corresponding uh, immunity or hazard shift phase also if for example she hulk is a poison immune champion and the defender is in incinerate uh, inflict phase you can also hit in the block to create some space next defender is going to be a war machine now he's a bit annoying with his sp ones i would highly suggest you to bring in a champion that has poison and incinerate immunity so an anti-venom should work really well here you can also bring in a red hulk so you don't have to worry about all of those poisons and incinerate and you can just focus on pushing him to an sp2 if you can't push him to an sp2 let him throw an sp1 and block it out your extra furies and with eat, uh, eat crow and bait and switch should be enough to help you kill off war machine so this is an annoying fight make sure you bring in the right champion for him Next defender is going to be a Tigra, not really a difficult fight, just keep her to an SP1 and use a size champion that will take away most of the nodes. If you're going to use a champion that has incinerate immune, the first phase is the one where you attack her. If you're going to use a poison immune, then you just have to play around and dance around and then hit her only when she has the poison phase up. Apart from that, pretty easy, straightforward fight, plenty of different options you can use. Just keep, keep her away from an SP2 because that takes a lot of area on the screen and takes you in a corner. Once you're cornered against Digra, it's a very difficult place to be.
up next is going to be an omega red again an easy fight now the difficult one is sp1 and sp2 can be easily available the only thing you need to take care about are is that spores just keep an eye on that and uh, you can just slowly play around if you're using a poison champion wait for the poison phase if you're playing an incinerate champion wait for the incinerate phase otherwise if you're using a champion that is incinerate and poison immune like an anti-venom red hulk you can pretty much run the path easily and stack all of those furies and kill off kill him off very quick Now the next defender is going to be an annoy one that would be Dr. Doom especially because his specials will be unblockable and you will have to keep him to SP1. SP2 can sometimes give you a lot of damage when those incinerates. So you can either bring in a poison champion like I brought in Hulk Immortal and I will die here and then I will come back and bring a champion that takes him out very easily that is the void. If you have champions that have easy access to Petrify, they will work really well because the Petrify will remove the aura of Hazirod from Doom, so that will make the fight much easier. It will be a slower fight, like with Void, it will be a slow fight until I can put about Petrify on him, then I don't have to worry about the unblockable specials and he will slowly tick away and die. So the best way to deal with this, use a Science Champion that is either Poison or Incinerate Immune and can apply a Petrify. The final fight before the boss is going to be a Silver Centurion, pretty easy to deal with, both specials can be easily evaded or you can even block them, bring in any champion, science champion that is poison incinerate immune, I'm just gonna bring in a red hulk and try to power him through, I think I died at the end and I have bringing in another champion to take him off, all in all it's not a difficult path, it's quite an easy one, just bring in science champion with poison or incinerate immunity and you should be easily be able to deal with all of this path.
and the boss fight is going to be against a super scroll with bullet time, steady perseverance, feats of power and stun vulnerability. So if he is stunned, he will take extra damage and with bullet time, this is a throwback to the node in 7.1.2 or 3 with Black Widow Deadly Origin fight. All you need to do is to use your parry and re-parries to build up those uh, evade charges on super scroll so whenever you will parry or re-parry super scroll he will get evade charges and when you have enough of them you can use your decks and that will passively stun super scroll so that passive stun during that it will take a lot of damage now you can also bring in passive stun champions like for example you can bring in white magneto you can bring in also pyramid x they should work as well then there's also steady preservance so whenever he will throw a special attack he will go invulnerable to uh will be immune to stun for a little while so there are different champions that are used here mostly champions that can remove all the buffs but the best one and the easiest one i found out is going to be venom pool all you need to do is to spam your sp1 and because the sp1 will take away the armor from super scroll so you could easily stay at full health and slowly build up all of those buffs and those furies and then you can eat kill super scroll off again uh, i am running a uh, synergy with human torch where venom pool goes in uh, incinerate immune as well so that also helps but that is not really needed just keep it to an sp1 and let those all of those furies built on you once you have that fury you should be able to bring down super skull easily just spam their sp1s to take down that armor buffs and you can get heal from it so if you have a venom pool pretty easy fight if not there are some other options also given on the right side you can use all of them as well in the last video i did a solo with black widow clear wine so you can check that out as well so i hope this helps you guys and it helps you clear this path if it does guys make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below all of that really helps me out a lot and helps me grow the channel apart from that guys i hope you all have an amazing day and i'll see you next time